So today we are going to uh, show you a program which uh, will sort an array in the in the way of pointers. So we will use the concept of pointers to sort an array containing uh, some numbers in a disorderly fashion. So we'll go to uh, just arrange the number from an, uh, in an ascending order. We have done this program in a previous video, but in the but with the concept of pointers, this is going to be a new experience for you. So let me just write the program first and then explain to you what is going inside it. So first we take the file inclusion directive hash include std io dot h int main now we have to take one array int suppose x 10 now we have to take a loop variable a another loop variable j i loop variable i another loop variable j and uh, n number of elements to be given by the user and uh, we will require a temporary variable for the swapping inside it as you are quite familiar with the program in a previous video so we we require a third variable temporary variable for the swapping and another pointer variable which is definitely an integer pointer suppose this pointer variable is ptr star ptr so int x10 i j n temp star ptr so these are the variables which are required to write the program if any other variables are required we will just uh, add those variables later on but i think this uh, these will do for the program so let's just get started with writing the program now first we will give the user a chance to give the input from the standard input device by giving a print f enter how many numbers how many numbers this is the prompt given to the user the user will supply percent d and percent n now what we'll do we will initialize this pointer variable with the base address of the array so that we can take the input from the user the elements which are to be entered from the keyboard by the user is to be taken by means of pointer arithmetic so we'll just assign the base address of the array to this pointer variable ptr so we can do that by this statement ptr is equal to x so this means the base address of this of the array x will always be stored in the ptr now this x is now at this moment this x is assigned to ptr that is suppose you can think in this way the array is like this array is x suppose the base address is 65586 and this x when assigned to ptr a pointer variable always means that we are assigning this base address 65586 that is the starting memory location of this array into this ptr so this is the statement we have written over there which means that we are assigning the base address into the pointer variable ptr so now we are giving a prompt to the user once again printf enter the elements now there will be a for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus what will just give the user will give the elements one by one to be stored into the different memory allocations memory locations in the array now 
there will be a scanf statement scanf person d what we will do this we will do like this scanf person d ptr plus i will write like this we don't have to write ampersand uh, x i because we are using the pointer arithmetic we have to write in this pointer arithmetic fashion that is the base address is assigned to ptr so suppose this ptr is pointing to the base address and whenever i is equal to 0 then ptr plus 0 means this location when, when i becomes 1 ptr plus i means ptr plus 1 becomes this location when i becomes 2 ptr plus 2 becomes this location and so on so this is the pointer arithmetic and we are uh, assigning the address ptr plus i by in this scanf statement so that the user can give the input from the standard input device one by one to be stored in the contiguous memory locations of this array x now this is the part of the input now we are going to sort the array uh, in the ascending order for that we need the sorting technique which was discussed in a previous video in uh, uh, not in a fashion uh, using pointers but in this time at this time we are going to describe the same technique uh, using the concept of pointers so pointer arithmetic will be used in this case now we will come to the sorting portion that is the main logical portion of this program for everything is given by the user suppose all the values are given by the user suppose 5 values or 10 values are given maximum of 10 values can be taken because we have taken the array, uh, array dimension to be of uh, 10 so maximum 10 values can be entered by the user so now we will write for i is equal to 0 for i is equal to 0, i less than n minus 1, i plus plus, i is equal to 0, i less than n minus 1, i plus plus. After that, in the inner loop, we will write for j is equal to i plus 1, j less than n j plus plus now there is a checking for which i have to write an if statement so i will write an if statement over here if if star ptr plus see this we are going to employ the swapping technique suppose the array contains like this suppose here is 5 and here is 1 so we are going to as uh, sort the array in ascending order where this 1 should go before 5 and 5 will go after the 1 so we need to swap these two variables in order to get the desired uh, output so in that case see this i is always 0 uh, when i is 0 then j becomes i plus 1 that is j becomes 1 when i becomes 1 j becomes 2 like this so this is the i stands for the leading position and j stands for the trailing position the following position so in this way we can see that if this one is smaller if this one is less than this one then definitely the swapping will take place other than other in other cases the swapping will not take place so we will write star ptr plus j in terms of pointer arithmetic i am writing this uh, code if bracket star parenthesis ptr plus j closing parenthesis less than star ptr plus i in this case we are going to swap the two values this position is i suppose this position is j we are going to swap the posi their positions so so in this case we are going to write this uh, remaining part of the code on the right side of this uh, board uh, and here we give the opening brace 
suppose this is the opening brace and I will continue from here. So we go to this portion. Now this if star PTR plus J less than star PTR plus I, we are going to swap. So it will be a three variable swap. So three variable swap for the three variable swap, I have taken a temporary variable temp. So what we'll do? Temp is equal to temp is equal to star PTR plus I. Then star PTR plus I is equal to star PTR plus J. Then star PTR plus J is equal to temp. In this way the swapping will take place which is quite similar to the original uh, program which was shown without the help of pointers. So this can be uh, this is reminiscent of that program. This can be referred to that program to make you understand the total swapping process. So this is the swapping portion. Now after this swapping portion is done, we are going to give this brace, the closing brace over here for this if part. Then this for loop that is the inner for loop, the J loop will end with this closing brace. And then comes the outer for loop which will be again closed. So in this way we will, uh, we will just do the operation which uh, helps us to sort the array in an ascending order. So in this way we are going to uh, sort the array in ascending order. Now we will just go on to print the sorted array. The sorted array is will be printed like this for printf the sorted array is new line for i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. What we are going to print? Print f percent d backslash t means tab comma. We are going to print one by one the elements in the sorted order. So it will be like this star ptr. PTR is the base address, PTR is the pointer which holds the base address of the array, PTR plus I. So there will be a closing bracket, semicolon, return 0 and then we come to the end of the main section. So this is the entire code for the sorting of an array. A simple sorting technique has been employed over here using the concept of pointer arithmetic. So this is the exceptional part of this uh, video in which I have described the sorting technique which I have described before without the use of pointers but in this case we have employed the use of pointers and we have resorted to the pointer arithmetic to show you the entire program. So if there are any queries or any doubts pertaining to this program you can well post your doubts or queries into the comment section below so that I can address them. Thanks for watching my video.